Okay, we are going to take a look at how the symbols work and how we can work with the symbols in Illustrator. So what we want to know is that um, Adobe Illustrator and Adobe Photoshop and actually the Adobe products have um, libraries loaded into them. Now, there is a whole market if you want to add symbols. Uh, some of them are free and some of them you have to buy. But let's look at what is actually loaded in <clears throat> Adobe Illustrator CS4. Okay, again, it'll be very similar to what's in CS5. So I see my workspace. Here's my artboard. Okay, and then this space around it is all of the other space we can say. And I have some of these windows just floating around. The toolbar is my main one. Now, let's say that one time you open up and you don't see your toolbar. What do you do? Well, <clears throat> all you do is you come to Window, and you should see Tools. Am I losing my mind? Why don't I see it? Well, I know that in uh, actually Adobe, uh, oh, here it is. Okay, there we go. And you can see some of these different things here too. These are your main ones. So your application bar, okay, that's your application bar right there. So if you ever don't see these different things, that, that's where they are. Make sense? Hopefully so. Okay, and you can play around with turning them on and off. All of the main things are up in here. All right, so I'm gonna close down. Uh, I'm gonna keep my, my swatches open, why not? I'm gonna close down my Pathfinder. I can click this little guy right here. And I'm going to open up my symbols library. Boop. There we have our symbols. Okay, you may have turned on some other things. Don't worry so much about what else is turned on. We want to just focus on our symbols. And again, some of these are loaded together so I could pull my symbols out and I could turn these ones off. Okay. Um, all right, so let's come to the symbols. And again, just like in our swatches, we had a, uh, what did we have? We had a, um, a library. We also have a symbols library. So let's come in and let's look at, why don't we go to retro? All right, so here are our retro symbols. We can see them right here. Let's actually take a look at another one too. Why don't we open up um, Florid Vector Pack? All right, so we have two of these different ones loaded, and we could choose one of these. Why don't we start and we'll choose this one right here, okay? Now, I'm going to – it's preloaded, so it doesn't really matter, but I'm just going to put in a fill color just because I want to. In order to get these symbols out, we take our symbol sprayer and we click. There it is. We click. Oh, there it is. Okay, I'm going to keep one out here. Now, let's say that I wanted to then come in and I wanted to change this guy around. Well. We can rotate it, we can make it bigger, okay? But if I wanted to change the color, I come in here, I click, I hit okay, and I can't, the color doesn't change. Now, the reason is because it is preloaded, okay? So it's not going to. What we need to do is we need to break the, um, we need to break the symbol, okay? We need to break the link of the symbol. So what we do is we come right here, break link to symbol, and now we can alter it. Now, what we're seeing here are all, I'm gonna zoom in, we're seeing all of these different anchor points. So this is how it was drawn, okay? Do we see all of that, okay? It has all of these really strong anchor points. Now, what we could do, now that we've broken the symbol, we're able to just see it, we actually could take our white arrow, click, Right, we could take one of these little points and alter it. Okay, so come in. Again, remember the difference between um, the the remember the difference between the white arrow, the direct select tool, and the selection tool. Now, we could go through and do that really all over the place and alter it. You know, make it look more Dr. Susie. Okay, um, Dr. Seuss's graphics are, you know, that one not so much, but have those long and torn, turned things. Now, we also can change the color, okay? And actually, why don't we do it again? There's a bunch of different ways to do it. Let's come right here. And there we go. We changed the color because we broke um, the link. If I wanted to move the whole thing, again, I take my black arrow and I move it. Make sense? 
Okay. All right. Again, we had to break the link though. All right. So let's do another one. Let me zoom in. See my board a little bit more. Pull up. All right. Let's take this uh, guitar. This guitar. Okay. Again, we load it in, and in order to make it hit the page, we come and we take our graphic, our our um, symbols bar. We click. There it is. Okay. Now again, all we can do here is just alter, you know, move it around. In order, again, in order to alter this, we wanted to alter the colors. What we need to do is, so what we want to do here in this little exercise is we're going to break the link and then we're going to change the colors. I'm going to show you how to select all of the same color at once too. Okay, so what we do again is we come right to here and we click this one right here, break link to symbol, okay? And we can click off, oops, we click on. We can see these are all of the paths and the anchor points. Now, let's come in and let's select the white arrow and let's say, okay, we're going to select this one right here. Or actually, better yet, let's click off first. Let's deselect it. Let's get the white arrow. Let's come in and let's click this white one, okay? Now I have this color orange um, change, and I could come in and I could change, you know, let's say I wanted to change to that. Actually, no, I don't want to change it to that. Let's change it to um, this color. I want to change them all to green, but instead of going around and cl clicking and, you know, doing all of these green one at a time, we can select them all and do them all at the same time. So I take my white arrow, I select one, and then I come up to my menu bar and I hit select, and I'm gonna to go to same, and I'm going to select the same fill color. Now that has selected all of this orange. Now in one foul sloop, I can come in, I can load that color, and it all is changed. Okay, makes sense? I come back, I take my, I only wanna select one thing, so I'm gonna change the background color. This orange was a little bit different. I'm gonna click this one now. This is the only color of that orange, okay? And I could double check though. I could come in, I could say select same, fill color. Again, that's the only color. Let's do this one. Why don't we really funky it up? Um, and there we have that, okay? All right, we can do the same with the green, so on and so forth. Again, it's very important. And if the, um, it's very important that we understand the difference here and we'll see this again and again. The difference, I'm going to talk about it one more time, between the black arrow, the selection tool, and the direct select tool. Okay, again, when I click my black arrow and I click, I get the whole object. I move the object as a whole. Okay, now I need to deselect this. Okay, and you always can deselect something if you have it selected just by clicking to the side or select deselect okay now I come I get my white arrow I select let's say the purple okay now I'm just selecting one object and I can change that one object let's do a different color so it stands out a little bit more okay makes sense difference again uh, between the black arrow we select the whole object the white arrow we select one point one shape one anchor point we can alter it uh, based on the anchor points and the paths. I will leave it at that for the symbol tool. Uh, play around. There's a lot of different things in here. You can, you know, take the symbols. You can alter them. And that's that. Thanks so much.